close with this one, which is called May Day. But before I read it, I want to spend just a second remembering the man who first published it in his journal, Chimera. Paul Stevens passed away about a year ago now, and he published a lot of us and did wonderful things for us. No shit. Yes. yes. <laughs> an amazing creative soul for whom we remain grateful. Another reason I'm ending with this one is that it's another all-out, full-blown celebration of spring. And is another poem that converses with other literature, but this time it's with children's literature. It relates to a book that I hope some of you know, some of you <coughs> maybe are parents and even read it, it's called Make Way for Ducklings. Mm -hmm. Anybody remember? Okay. I asked a children's librarian. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. Remember it. Make Way for Ducklings. From the small safety of their storm drained puddle, two bird brained birds puzzle across four lanes at 7 a.m. They bob and waddle. There are no other words. His iridescent head, green beyond mistaking, blazing away for her dull brown. Unhurried, they preen at the midline, pecking at air. I pause mid-step beside the roadway, worried, because my childhood faith, set on the sacred texts read to me, read to my children, still blessing the shelves of the branch library, holds that some love protects such innocent selves. It wants a policeman to materialize, whistling and gesturing with white-gloved hands. Slim chance. In less benevolent guise, he stands above with the radar gun in dark blue interdiction, while cars bomb down the pavement at our couple, 45-ing in the 30 zone. The gods of children's fiction appear not to be driving this plot. Do I expect them to hold sway? Or the grown-ups gone, the stillness in the dance, the ground of being who let the ground give way in formal practice to bobbing question marks above the creeping Charlie's faultless blue. A chalk white smudge of contrail arcs across a sky by Vato. Everything stills. For now, driver attention holds and brakes are firm and good. Ducks cross in danger and care those ancient story laws. Early light spangles the cottonwood. A flowering crab, confetti's its applause. Thank you very much.